California just can't seem to catch a break. Welcome to the Poison Report. I am your host, Serge. California seems to be falling apart in so many ways. And I've got something for you. If you would like a quick summary of this video, please look into the description box below. So as you can see here, we're going to read an article from the New York Times. <clears throat> Travelers stranded by highway collapse begin to leave Big Sur. About 2,000 motorists, mostly tourists, were stuck in the area on Saturday night after a section of Highway 1 fell into the ocean. No injuries were reported. Officials in California on Sunday slowly began guiding drivers past the collapsed section of scenic Highway 1 in the Big Sur area. One day after the damage left about 2,000 more stranded overnight. Officials with the California Department of Transportation urged the public on Sunday to avoid that section of the southbound highway in the Central Coast, and Monterey County issued a disaster declaration. The highway remains closed to the public while crews work on the affected areas where large chunks of the road fell into the ocean. The agency, known as Caltrans, did not give an estimate of when the highway would fully reopen. Highway 1, also known as the Pacific Coast Highway, features stretches of rocky cliffs, lush mountains, panoramic beaches, and coastal redwood forests. That sounds like a beautiful scene over there on uh, Highway 1. Officials did not say what led to the collapse, but torrential rain on Saturday battered the area near Rocky Creek Bridge. The site of the damage, which is about 17 miles south of Monterey. So that place got hit pretty hard with a lot of rain. There were no reported injuries from the collapse. Good. Many of those stranded on Saturday were visitors who were driving through the area over the Easter holiday and had to sleep in temporary shelters, said Nicholas Pasculi, a spokesman for Monterey County. Others stayed in local hotels, bed and breakfast, and campgrounds, and some slept in their cars, he added. On Saturday evening at Nepenth, a famed cliffside restaurant, customers slowly learned the news of the road closure from servers and bartenders, and groans could be heard as families scrambled to find empty rooms to spend the night. Wow, this guy, whoever wrote this article was really getting into the whole <clears throat> tragedy and... uh making it dramatic. Linda Molinari, a Pilates instructor from Hollister, California, and her boyfriend were two of those customers. They were making a day trip to Big Sur for lunch on Saturday and ended up arriving around 4 p.m. After hearing the news about the highway, they decided to head back home. At about 5.15 p.m., they were met with a roadblock and told by the authorities that they would have to turn around. We came here just to have lunch and go home, and now it's like everyone is trapped here. Miss Molinari recalled thinking, all the little hotels and stuff, you could tell everybody was swarming. Miss Molinari and her boyfriend had brought their camper with them in case they wanted to pull over to watch the ocean. Instead, it ended up being their room for the night. The couple went to a general store and bought some emergency supplies, water, hot dogs, and instant oatmeal. They stayed near the Big Sur River Inn, which provided breakfast and Wi-Fi to travelers. On Sunday, uniformed officials were guiding some motorists around the damaged road and organized convoys. As cars moved past the damaged area, drivers could see that a chunk of the highway had entirely disappeared, along with a rock barrier separating the highway from the cliff's edge. That sounds creepy. Another convoy was scheduled for Monday morning in case the crews were not able to reach everyone by Sunday night, Mr. Pasculi said. We're hoping we can get all the visitors out today. That's our hope. That's our goal, he said. Suffice it to say, it's a holiday weekend. 
An unseasonably cold and vigorous storm system cut through the southwestern Pacific coast over the weekend, bringing rain, flash flooding, and snow to parts of California and elsewhere. Over the years, landslides have taken out portions of Highway 1, which stretches more than 650 miles from south of Los Angeles to north of San Francisco, through Big Sur and across the Golden Gate Bridge, most notably in May 2017, some 6 million cubic yards of earth moved after heavy rains, adding 15 acres of coastline. The highway underwent repairs and reopened a year later. Last year, relentless winter storms in California caused landslides that blocked the 20-mile stretch of Big Sur for several weeks. Miss Molinari and her boyfriend were among those who were able to leave with a convoy on Sunday afternoon. They made it back home around 2.30 p.m. Everything went fine, she said, adding that they had not needed to eat the hot dogs. Still, she added, it was a crazy, weird Easter. Mm. Interesting. My, my, my. At least they would, didn't have to eat the hot dogs. The silver lining of the article. Ah, saved ourselves. No hot dogs. Woo! Going back to our vegan lifestyle. Man, those poor people in California. You know, hopefully they can get some kind of help. Uh, I don't see how, but maybe. Uh, as far as what Biden has said, there hasn't been a word concerning any federal funds. I know that there's an uh, emergency declaration filed in that area. And uh, Big Sur. And uh, do you have anybody that lives in California? Are you in California watching this? Are you in that area? I know that landslides happen. And that little area right there, it's had some difficulties from time to time. But uh, uh, what is all this have? The landslides and the, the torrential rain. <clears throat> some people say it's climate change I don't know, what do you think? is it climate change? is it just something that's just going to happen? some freak show accident? it's supposed to be a really lovely area uh, you know, leave a comment down below let me know what you think send your prayers down to the people in uh, California over there in Big Sur and uh, you know things always get better and it sounded like this couple was looking for a silver lining. Nobody was injured, so that's good. It's just people stranded. I mean, it, it could have been worse. It really could have. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Hit the notification bell. And remember, we are your antidote to today's misinformation.